Okay, so today we're going to be talking about how to understand the areas of rectangles and squares. So the purpose of this is to understand that squares have the largest areas compared to rectangles with, if they have the same perimeter. So first we'll look at the math language. So the first is enclosed. This means that all this space here inside of the rectangle, which means that the shape is enclosed and in the context of the question we'll be showing you later, enclosed area means all of this space. So with this, this side over here and this is the length and now we'll be moving on to show you how to actually solve some a sample problem and how to imply this concept on a real problem. So our example of problem is what is the area of the largest rectangular field that can be completely enclosed using 120 feet of fencing. So here we have two shapes, one square and one rectangle. So as said before, a square is a special rectangle and if a square and a rectangle has the same perimeter, the square will always have a larger area. So here, because it's 120 feet of fencing, the square has four sides, so each side would be 30 feet. We'll have 30 feet of fencing. Where is this? Where is this? Re rectangle has 20 feet on its width and 40 feet on the side, which has a total of 120 feet of fencing. So this square has a total of 900, um, 900 feet of fencing squared and 800 feet squared of that is enclosed. So this